So we see tons of patients that are sent over by their primary care doctor for a thickened bladder wall, a bladder wall that's thick. Sometimes this is a big deal. Sometimes it's not such a big deal. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Dr. Seigel here. So the question is, my bladder wall is thick. Should I be proud or should I be scared? And at the end, guys, I'll tell you my pearl of wisdom for a way that bladder wall thickening can be evaluated without the dreaded cystoscopy, which nobody wants. So um, I'm going to kind of give you my classic analogy for the bladder and talk about why it oftentimes will get thick. I always say the bladder is a muscle in the same way that your bicep, not that I have a big bicep or anything, but if I did and I lifted weights, then my bicep would be thicker. The same thing happens in your bladder. So if this bladder wall is working really, really hard, it's going to thicken. So this size of it, it'll actually get thicker than what it is right now. Okay. Now there's a difference between what we call asymmetric and symmetric, th uh, symmetric thickening. So if, if you think about it, let's say somebody, like a guy has a big prostate, all right, right here, we're gonna draw a prostate in. And that bladder for, let's say the guy's 65 years old, for 65 years, that bladder has been trying to push against that prostate. Push, 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 and so that bladder muscle has to get thicker and thicker to be able to push urine past the prostate, right? In general, what you see on a CT scan is symmetric bladder wall thickening. This bladder wall thickening that I drew here is usually all the way around, right? Because the bladder uh, as a muscle will grow kind of um, symmetrically and it'll push against the prostate um, in uniform or together. And so the whole muscle of the bladder uh, will thicken uh, with one another. Now, what's oftentimes more concerning is if on a CT scan, they see, let's say they see something like this. So this is asymmetric thickening. This is thickening in just one area of the bladder. That's more worrisome because if you see a thickened area of just one part of the bladder, it could be a certain type of bladder tumor, okay? So men, if you have symmetric bladder wall thickening because of the prostate, in women, if they have pelvic organ prolapse or their pelvic organs are falling down, so some things called a cystocele, rectocele, et cetera, and they, they fall in front of the bladder, then the bladder has to work extra hard to push urine past that prolapse. So in women, it's a different cause than men, for sure. And then people say, well, okay, so you have symmetric and asymmetric or non-symmetric bladder wall thickening. How the heck do you figure out which one it is and how do you figure out whether it's concerning or not? And it's a pretty simple test. It's a cystoscopy. And we have a video that describes that uh, on one of the other uh, feeds if you want to take a look. But we just need to look in the bladder, okay? Oftentimes we can do that in the office. It takes 60 seconds. Uh, so we look in, we see if we see any... Uh, uh, discrete abnormality or if the whole bladder has changes uh, that we associate with bladder outlet obstruction or an enlarged prostate or pelvic organ prolapse. Now, this is kind of my pearl of wisdom, the thing that people really want to know because people don't want this cystoscopy, right? It'd be kind of weird if you did want it. Um, people want to say, well, is there any way to evaluate bladder wall thickening and make sure that it's okay without a scope, doc? And the answer is yes, there is. So sometimes bladder wall thickening, the bladder can be thicker because of something that is transient or doesn't last that long. So if you have a urinary tract infection or you have inflammation of the bladder for whatever reason, this bladder wall can get thick for a little while. And then if you get that same image, whether it's an ultrasound or a CT scan over time, then that bladder wall thickening will disappear. So if it's because of an acute event like that, like a urinary tract infection or a transient inflammation, inflammation that's just lasting for a little while, and then you get a scan or an ultrasound over time, then it should disappear. And 
oftentimes you can avoid a, avoid a cystoscopy. So that's kind of my pearl of wisdom for a way it can be evaluated without necessarily looking into your bladder. I hope that gives you guys some insight in regard to uh, a somewhat of a unique problem, bladder wall thickening, how we deal with it, how we think about it. Thank you so much for listening. We certainly appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel. We release at least two new videos a week. Thanks again.